Hey folks, good guy Glenn here, and today is Thursday, April 18th, 2024, and I am in Bordentown, New Jersey. That's right, I'm in Bordentown, New Jersey, my home state, and funny story, Smith and Solomon. My trucking school that I went to is based right out of next door. And this is where they would practice. I didn't go to that campus. I went to the Lakewood one, but we would get fuel for the trucks here because they have a deal with this Petro. Um, this place is sketchy to say the least. I'm trapped right now. I couldn't leave if I want to because there's trucks parked right across my frontage. I thought I had selected a good spot where I could pull directly out. This guy with Tyson didn't care. He's blocking the whole row. Doesn't care. Whatever. I'm currently taking a load from Clorox in Aberdeen, uh, Aberdeen Maryland to Wells, Maine. And I'm a little bit spooked about that. It's a live unload tomorrow at a grocery store at 1600. A little bit spooked because it's a 1600 uh, unload and I don't know where I'm going to stay. There's a couple Walmarts in the area. I'll figure it out. But I'm scared that they're going to send me to Poland Springs. And Poland Springs, when you work for Western Express, means you're going to New York City to deliver. And I just don't want to do that. But. It is what it is, and I'll just take it as it comes. You know what I mean? I'll have to figure it out. So anyway, I drove out. I uh, had to do this drop-in hook at Clorox, but really it was a live load, a drop-in hook live load. I never really understood those. So I didn't have the trailer anyway. Because yesterday when I picked up a trailer after I dropped there, she said, well, if you're coming back for a load tomorrow, just leave the trailer and it'll be easier for you to find parking. That was great advice. I found parking anyway at the Maryland house on I-95. I had a burrito last night. I think we covered this in another video. But um, I had a burrito last night. I ate well and I slept well and I got up and sure enough I called all morning and they said that my trailer wasn't loaded and that it would be loaded at 12 o'clock I showed up there at 11.07 she told me the door where my trailer would be and to go hook to the trailer and that they would put a lock on the airline which they did then they loaded the trailer and I actually was at, rolling out at 12.03 then I rolled up to a pilot, Flying J, to get to Way at the scale. Had a bit of a problem with the National Guard. The Jersey National Guard was posted up in there. They ha were having some sort of convoy, and they were blocking the scale. Way to go. Go Army. I don't know. I came up this way. The GPS wanted to take me some... The company GPS wanted to take me some cockamamie way on side roads up through New Jersey 202. I've been that I've been down that road with with this uh, company before, but I just jumped on 295 and went right to Bordentown because I needed a good safe place to stay. I had to shut down pretty early. I only drove about 111 miles today, but any of you who've tried to drive through Jersey and New York on I-95. After 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you know what I'm talking about. You're not getting anywhere fast. And you're not getting parking any further north. And this doesn't drop till 1600 tomorrow. And it's only 160, uh, 360 miles. So I leave at 03. I'm there about noon. And then I got four hours to figure out if they're going to take me early, which they probably won't. It's a grocery store. But I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do till then. But I'd rather get there early and get the lay of the land than to get there late, if you know what I mean. And 
say they do take me early. More of a chance for me to boogie down to that TA with limited parking spaces that's right down in uh, New Hampshire across the border there. And maybe I could get a spot there. Don't know. Gonna see. So, I parked here. It's weird being in New Jersey. I got Angelina a trinket for her trinket box, even though she's from Jersey. But, you know. The guy who's parked in front of me, he's blocking two lanes of traffic. The lane coming down on an angle here and the lane coming from the blue beacon over there. And he's made it virtually impossible for any of us if we wanted to leave to get out right now. The level of selfish nonsense from these drivers today and you know you know you know the type like it's these this new generation and you know I know I'm a new driver I know that but I'm also 50 years old so I have some smarts in my head and I don't think everything is just all about me and I would never park blocking other drivers especially when there's spots in this lot this lot is far from being full. It's because you're lazy and you don't want to go find a spot because you don't want to back. Because your backing skills are probably terrible. And this is just like one of the biggest problems. Because when, when I lay up a spot where I want to park in the evenings, I try to have to lay it out now where I can't get blocked in. And I really thought that this spot was going to be one of those spots and it wasn't. It started with Swift Driver who dropped his trailer and disappeared. He parked, he parked in the lane in front of us illegally. Well, not in a spot, we should say. Then this other guy in a long nose Kenworth parked in a spot next to him. I still could have squeezed out. And now this Tyson guy is parked here and he's like 30 feet in front of my trailer. There's no way for me to swing my trailer and not whack this freight liner next to me. So, I pulled in here, I went to the iron skillet, I got a steak, I put a new mud flap on the trailer so I won't get ticketed going through Jersey, Connecticut, and New York, which are like, you know, um, and then I had to put death in the truck that I paid for because I'm an idiot, I know, but they didn't give me death on my last fuel solution because there was no def at the speedway where I fueled. And it's just, you know, it's just always something, man. It's always something, but I'm trying to stay positive, like I said. Um, my miles are gonna be decent this week, not good, not the way that they used to be, but compared to how they've been the last couple of weeks, should be pretty okay, hopefully. If I can avoid New York, A New York run, I'm gonna be all right. I just have to survive the drive past my home tomorrow and not be upset. But I think I'll be able to. My food at the Iron Skillet was pretty good. I was worried about it. I sat at the round with all the other truckers, had some conversation. I like that. I like that old school trucker setup. That's the way it used to be if you look at the photos from the golden age of trucking. Um, so, you know me, I'm a sucker for that. I love all that old stuff. But I've been spending too much money the last couple days. Uh, I've had to. I mean, I had to pay for parking. Uh, when you come here, I figure since I have to pay to be in this Petro anyway, if you eat at the, if you eat at the, uh, skillet, the, uh, iron skillet, it compensates your parking. That, between the mud flap and everything else, I'm golden. I don't have to pay for parking tomorrow. And I'm going to leave out. I'm going to take 95 straight up, jump on 17, 17 to 287, 287 over the Tappan Z, back onto 95, 95 to uh, Maine. It's going to be, it's going to be a trip, man. It's going to be a trip. And everything should be all right. I hope I can sleep well tonight. 
I've been sleeping in the last couple of days because the loads have been late pickup loads and I just hate that. I just want to go back to like the old drop and hooks that you can just go drop and hook. I don't know why it was a drop and hook where I had to drop a trailer and hook to a trailer and then get loaded. I hate those. Those are just weird to me. That trailer should have been loaded before I got there. But alas, it is what it is. So with that, I'm going to go drink my banana quick that I got. I picked up. Can't find it everywhere, but when you can, I buy it and I put it in the refrigerator. And I'm gonna see what's gonna happen with this uh, guy. I'm gonna have to eventually say something to him because he can't stay parked there. Or I'm gonna wake him up at 3 a.m. And he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna like that. But you have to know that if you're parked like an idiot like this, you're gonna get woken up. So. You know the deal. Love your family. Say your prayers. Right? You might not always get what you want, but you're going to get what you need. Have faith. Take your vitamins, drink plenty of water. Eat a banana and a Greek yogurt every single day. Smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so when I drop another video, you get a notification. And once again, this is Good Guy Glenn. Thanks for watching.